Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our 2010 California Wrestling Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Sean Lewis. His presenters are Bill Flake and Kenny Waring. Bill Flake was Sean's high school coach. Bill is also a California Wrestling Hall of Fame inductee for the class of 2009. And Kenny Wary is Sean's good close friend and current head wrestling coach at Sierra Junior College. Sean Lewis never wrestled until his freshman year in high school. In the beginning of Sean's freshman year at Kennedy High School, he was told from a future teammate and friend that the wrestling team was going to Hawaii. Sean's friend said, if you can make the varsity team at 98 pounds, you can go. Sean, being strong and fast and wanted to go to Hawaii, tried out for the team. He made it. He not only made the varsity team at 98 pounds, but he was also a league champion that year. Then after Sean's junior year was complete, he transferred to Placer High School where he wrestled for Bill Flake. While at Placer, Sean was a league and subsection champion. He also placed third in the section, which qualified him for the state meet. After graduating from Placer High School, Sean then went on to wrestle for the University of Oregon for two and a half years. Sean registered his freshman year, and in his second season, Sean was a Pac-10 runner-up. However, in that second season, Sean was already talking about the Army program. Sean felt the University of Oregon was not a good fit for him. It was not because of the University or its wrestling program, he just wasn't ready to be in a college environment. So he left the university and his wrestling program and went back home. During that time, Sean stayed home for a year and worked. Then one day, out of the blue, Sean got a knock on his front door. It was from his mother. She asked him, are you ever going to wrestle anymore? Sean said, yes. And at that moment, Sean called Tony Thomas, who was the Army coach at the time, and expressed his interest in enlisting in the Army. And guess what? The rest is history. Because Sean enlisted in the US Army and joined his wrestling program, where his career got a major boost. For a decade, Sean was one of the nation's top Greco-Roman wrestlers. Sean was a member of the U.S. Army team as an athlete, winning six Armed Forces Greco-Roman titles and competing in the World Military Championships. Sean was a 1993 U.S. Army Athlete of the Year, an award including all sports in the Army's program. In that same year, Sean competed on the 1993 and 1999 U.S. World Championships teams. Sean was a four-time U.S. Nationals Greco-Roman champion in 1993, 94, 96, and 98. He was also a medalist in three U.S. Olympic team trials for 92, 96, and 2000. He even qualified for the 1988 U.S. World Team, but was unable to participate in the World Championships that year. After competing as an athlete, Sean Lewis stayed involved in the sport as a coach. Since 2002, Sean has coached numerous Olympic and World Team members, as well as national team members in all three Olympic styles. Sean's coaching resume includes being an Olympic coach for the U.S. Greco-Roman wrestling teams of the 2004 and 2008 Olympic Games. In 2004, the United States team was led by Olympic bronze medalist Rulon Gardner, who claimed his second career Olympic medal. Sean also served as coach for the U.S. World Military Team five times, which competes at the CISM World Military Championships. In his tenure, Sean has been named Greco-Roman Coach of the Year by USA Wrestling three times in 2002, 3, and 2006. Currently, Sean is stationed in Fort Carson, Colorado, where he's the head coach for the U.S. Army team. Sean has led his Army team to new heights. He has been responsible for training athletes in the Army's world-class athlete program, which the Army has dominated the Armed Forces Championships. In addition, they have become the National Greco-Roman Championship team on the senior level. Last year, the U.S. Army won the U.S. National title for four years in a row. His Army wrestlers won four individual national titles in 2009, and he placed three U.S. Army athletes on the 2009 world team. In addition, Sean is a club coach for Dronel Byers, who was a world champion in 2002, one of only five Americans to win a Greco-Roman world title. Sean, you are one of the most prominent figures in U.S. Greco-Roman wrestling championships, and I was just informed tonight that he is retiring on Sunday, May 30th, as staff sergeant. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the 2010 California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Mr. Sean Lewis. Thank you very much for those kind words. It is truly an honor to uh, come back here to the state of California and receive this award. Uh, all of us that's here tonight are here because this sport is ran on selfless service and volunteer. 
None of us would be here tonight if it weren't for you guys out there. So I would like to say thank you. Because because of your selfless service, I'm able to stand out here tonight and represent my friends and my family, my wrestlers back in Colorado, my friends in, uh, uh, across the world. Because of you guys give up your weekends and ran the bout sheets and taped up the mats and washed the mats and heard me screaming in the corner when I thought I got a bad call. You guys showed up the next weekend and ran another tournament. So I appreciate you guys giving 110%, not only to you, but to me as well. Now, I can't stand here and, and thank everyone. I can't, I can't thank everyone in the individually, but I would be a little remiss if I didn't thank some, some personal people here with me tonight. My friends, Mark Cole and Bobby Fenoy, us hanging out together, growing up together, you guys chasing your dreams, I'm trying to chase my dreams. Without you guys, I wouldn't be here. Because when I was low, chasing my dreams, you guys were chasing your dreams and you motivated me. So thank you and I love you and I always will appreciate you for that. <clears throat> my beautiful mother, my sister, my brother Kevin, you guys always stood beside me, right, wrong, and different. You always encouraged me. Not only did you encourage me to dream, but you, you dared me to chase them. So mom, Kev, Lisa, I love you guys. I appreciate that. And last, my love of my life for 17 years, Roz and Lewis here. I really appreciate you just being you and standing by me and giving me two beautiful children. And I'll always love you to my last breath. Once again, I would like to thank the committee for recognizing me tonight. And I thank you again, because without you, selfless service and your volunteer, I wouldn't be living a dream. Thanks a lot. Yeah.